Hello, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Amy. If you're brand new to this channel, today's video is gonna be a Chanel reveal. I have two things to reveal to you guys. The first one I'm already wearing, it's this beautiful necklace. I'm gonna do some close-ups. It came with the beautiful packaging with the ribbon and camellia. I already started wearing these, so that's why it's a reveal video versus an unboxing and it came in this beautiful box which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar so it came in this box this is my first time buying a Chanel necklace um, I guess in the past I've always just bought earrings and earrings <laughs> oh and brooches I totally forgot about the brooches but anyway I don't have a Chanel necklace yet this is my first one one of my good friend Claire if you're watching she recommended that I look into a Chanel classic necklace but she was more referring to the pearl ones which I did look at as well but I didn't find anything that I really liked and plus, I thought that they were very pricey. Not that Chanel is not pricey anyway. Everything at Chanel is pricey, but especially the necklaces. I get that they're more intricate and there's more material going into them. Um, but yeah, when it's like $2,000 for a costume necklace, it's a little bit much. I definitely want something a little bit more versatile. So the longer one, you can double it as a shorter necklace. But you can also just throw it on without removing the clasp. Uh, as a long necklace which is a feature that I really like and it's a feature that I really like about this one too because this one comes with two settings it comes with the longer one which I'm wearing currently and I don't have to remove the clasp it just loops through my head and it also comes with a shorter setting I'm gonna talk about pricing at the end of this video I'm sure that you guys want to know what's in this big box I've already unboxed it I just uh, put the ribbons back just to show you how it looks like. You guys are probably familiar with how the packaging looks like. There's a lot of tissue paper, a nice sticker, and there's usually a booklet inside with a dust cloth, a buffing cloth to reveal the bag that I already uh, took out from the box. I actually have not used this bag yet, but I did take it out because I could not wait for this unboxing. It comes with this beautiful dust bag, which you guys are also probably very familiar with. The bag that I got is, ta-da, the Gabrielle bag in the small size. And this is in the beautiful burgundy color from the 19B collection. Let me take out this felt material just to show you the whole bag properly. So there you have it. It's so beautiful. I think I've mentioned several times, if you guys don't already know, or if you're new to my channel, that the Gabrielle bag in the small size is my all-time favorite Chanel bag at the moment. I have so many videos on my channel where I either mentioned about this bag or I just, um, I guess, talked about this bag at length. I actually have two review videos, which I'm gonna link down below. They're very, very thorough, so just be prepared that I have a lot to say about it if you haven't watched it already. And I have also have a bunch of tag videos and probably Q&A videos where I touch base on this bag as well. Well, not this one in particular, but the black one that I have. There was a true red color. There was a beautiful gray color that is to die for. And um, actually, those are the main ones that I remember. But I think there was quite a few nice colors this season. But the main ones that I was personally attracted to were those three, the red, the burgundy, and the gray. This particular Gabrielle bag came in the red as well as in the gray as well. And I believe for the gray color, it came in the quilted as well as in the chevron. But our store in Vancouver did not order the quilted. And then in the red color, I believe it only came in the chevron. Although, I don't know if it's just a question of our store not ordering um, a quilted version or whatnot. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about the red one. I wasn't interested in the red one in particular. I was more interested in either the burgundy, which to me it looks, it can pass as a red color depending on the lighting. And I was also interested in the gray color, which... Like I said, our, col our store did not order the quilted version, which I prefer. Nothing against the chevron, but I don't know. I guess it really depends on the individual bag. Every season is different with their color, texture, and material. There was also the Business Affinity, which was 
a pretty popular option. I was deciding between the two. I think my heart was set on the Gabrielle, but I just wanted to make sure that perhaps I would have liked the business affinity more once I see it in person. When I was comparing the two, I just felt like the Gabrielle was really well made, it felt solid, and I already know that this design works for me because I have the black one and I'm crazy in love with the black one. The Business Affinity is a bag that I've already looked at several times in you know, in the last few years. For whatever reason, every single time that I looked at the Business Affinity, there was something that I was not happy about. Uh, one of those times I was not happy about how the hardware attaches to the chain of of the bag. It just looked like it wasn't a really solid construction. It just didn't look like it was a $4,000 bag or whatever amount it was at the time. Um, another time I looked at it, every time I put the bag down on a flat surface, it would tip forward and fall over. Uh, so I think that's always been a known issue, so that also was a deterrent for me. And the most recent time that I looked at it in the beautiful burgundy color, and I have to say that the color is so gorgeous on the Business Affinity, the turn lock did not feel smooth at all. It felt like it had a bit of a resistance when I closed it. It's definitely not as smooth as any of the turn locks, CC turn locks that I own in any of the other bags that I have from Chanel. So any of the minis, um, Coco Handle, and even the reissue that I have, they all have a very smooth turn lock. That was the reason why I personally rejected it yet again. Long story short, I came back home with uh, the Gabrielle and um, as well as this necklace. I actually bought them in two separate trips. That's why I have two separate bills. Uh, but nevertheless, that's the reason why I went with the Gabrielle bag. In general, I find that Chanel bags with just a chain material as the shoulder strap is more flattering. I would say that it looks just nicer and just more expensive in general. The moment that you put a strap like this or a leather piece like this on a strap, it just it doesn't cheapen it, but it just makes it less... Uh, dressy and a little bit more casual so I love the fact that this has both because with the chain although beautiful and classy it can dig in especially if your bag is quite heavy so I do find that with my minis if they get heavy over time and especially because I have shoulder shoulder problems so it can dig in and it can be uncomfortable but with the but the fact that this has both of them with the leather piece and the chain I feel like it's the best of both worlds, especially depending on what you wear, it makes a huge difference. With all my minis, I don't have any problems with the chain sliding down because the chains are usually, they stay put really well even if you're wearing a very thick material. But with, for example, my cocoa handles, they also have a leather piece on top and that leather piece tends to slip down my shoulder when I'm wearing a coat. So for the cocoa handle, I tend to hold them by the hand most of the time because instead of really having to adjust the shoulder strap regularly, I'd rather just hold it. But with this one, there's no problems wearing it on the shoulder because I have two different styles of chain. Uh, they're you know, this makes it more comfortable and distributes the weight better, but this also stays put on my shoulder. So FYI, I never mentioned that in my other videos, but I just felt like mentioning it here. The interior is a tone-on-tone, -tone, beautiful burgundy as well. So this burgundy color is the exact same burgundy color of the bag, which is amazing. It's beautiful. On my black one, it's actually a red color, which I think um, is their classic color. So if you ever buy a black, just the regular black Gabrielle, then you'll get the red interior. And then of course it also comes with this beautiful um, little key hook inside. I don't mind this one in particular. I find that with the black one, the leather piece on the black one is very hard and it's not that flexible. With this one, it actually is quite pliable. So I actually don't mind this one as much. I can just tuck it in. Uh, the pocket as usual, which is something that I do a lot. I don't really use it. Um, I mean, I don't mind that it's there anymore, I suppose, because I've gotten used to it. My bag is made in Italy, and uh, the only other compartments is a 
zip pocket on one side and then your custom one big pocket and the lipstick pocket on the other side which I almost never use I only mainly use the bigger pocket here for maybe my car key so it's easy to find and that's about it that's this bag I love the zipper pull it's quite nice and smooth I find that my black one is slightly smoother and it just feels a little sturdier but I don't mind this one because it's still quite easy to pull but I do find that it's maybe a little less smooth than my black one here's my black one in case you guys have never seen my black one um, as you can see there's a little bit more creasing and you know it's it's been used quite a bit just to put a side-by-side -side comparison I don't know if we'll even see any difference because I do feel like they're slightly different um, yeah so as you can see the brand new burgundy one is so smooth and there is no uh, the creases on the burgundy one is a lot less it there it doesn't cave in or anything it doesn't have any big creases I don't have any big creases on this one either but the leather is definitely has softened up uh, but it's so beautiful I love 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 this bag so much and it still is a workhorse the shoulder strap has softened up as well it's molded to the shape of my shoulders and it's so so comfortable um, the chains are just as beautiful and shiny again it's tri-colored same as the burgundy one the serial code is on the fabric and there's a little leather piece that's uh, sewn on it and so mine is a 25 series so my black one is a 25 series um, I've had it for I don't even remember how long I've had it for. I want to say two years. I, I'd have to check my own review video just to see how long I've had it for. Has it really been two years or is it just a year? Anyway, it doesn't matter, but I'm just saying that I, I'm such a big fan of this, this bag that I did not mind getting another one. In fact, I would still probably get another one if I, um, if they come up with the perfect gold color or a perfect sort of metallic silver maybe I, I don't know I, I'll, I'll have to really see so let's talk about pricing I have my two proof of purchase here uh, like I said this necklace is a classic so it will come back every every so often I don't exactly know if they'll come back every single season but it is a classic piece so you should be able to find it um, only thing is for some reason when my essay was looking up if she had a new one of these uh, she couldn't find any new ones in stock in Canada so this was basically the last one in Canada at our store so I just bought the you know the the display one and also for whatever reason she said that it didn't appear like it was being reordered so I like again I don't really know if this is a piece that's being discontinued in the in the future or if it's just a temporary thing I don't know but of all the pendant necklaces that I was interested in and that I tried on that day this this was the only one that uh, that looked good on me plus it wasn't too big but it wasn't too small either so it was a perfect size um, it looked great on me and plus I was wearing these earrings on that day so it matched really well I'll put the style code underneath in the description box if you guys are interested this necklace was 555 Canadian dollars plus tax which came out to 621 dollars and 60 cents where I live so I live in British Columbia and our tax rate is 12% for the Chanel Gabrielle bag uh, in the small size it has since gone up in price by the way mine is in 28 series I have the card over here I never put it in my bag so for the Gabrielle it's currently four thousand seven hundred and seventy five dollars plus taxes so it came out to five thousand three hundred and forty eight dollars the other thing that I wanted to touch base on as well is that Chanel prices vary greatly per collection and per season as well so for the Gabrielle bag I think the price that I just told you is pretty much their uh, their regular price for the regular classic Gabrielle I feel like the Gabrielle is a classic because it has come back every single season or at least it's their new classic it's a bag that has been produced and has been available every single season so 
in my eyes it is considered I guess their classics and that's basically their price but it can still go up and down depending on the collections in the Egyptian collection I remember that there was one or maybe two variations of it that was slightly less pricey it was in the fabric so it was like a tweed material but they also had a tweed one that was also a lot more expensive so it really just depends on the actual bag for the current collection there's also a soul black I think it was chevron as well so other than the fact that the bag was all in black including all the hardware and all the chains so there's no tricolor is all black um, that one was like a thousand dollars more which is kind of crazy because essentially it's the same bag it looks beautiful in picture I have not seen it in person but my personal opinion is that it's just not worth it because it's a whole thousand dollars more and unless you're really into the so black combination i really feel like the classic is just as beautiful if not i like it more so it's very interesting that the prices differ and vary so so much uh, speaking of the necklaces as well when i was looking at the tray that they had one that has pearls on the cc pendant and then there was also like a a little strip of pearl on the actual um, necklace and it was also a longer version but it also had I'm pretty sure it also had like a double setting anyway that one was like over a thousand dollars and I was like I, I just didn't get it because it, it really just varies between this particular version which was you know with taxes just over 600 uh, up to a thousand or more so it's just crazy that the prices can differ so greatly I have earrings that are $400 from the past up to my newest ones that I bought were over 1200 US dollars is insane how crazy the prices can be just know that the prices can vary a lot depending on the season and even with the same season in the same collection you can have the exact same bag or the exact same item you're looking at but just in two different variation and one can be a lot more expensive than the other uh, it's totally possible I hope that you guys enjoyed this reveal video on this bag as well as the pricing information uh, what do you guys think of the current collection did you guys go crazy about this one let me know what you guys got from this collection I'm so curious uh, as for me, I really like this collection I think I really like the colors of this collection but in terms of I don't know, I felt like I gone, I've gone way crazier for the spring collection with the logo earrings as well as the Egyptian collection I just really really love the Egyptian collection for some reason um, But burgundy is a red color anyway and I love reds If you know my collection, most of my bags are either black or a variation of a lighter color such as cream or grey and reds i guess i have a couple of blue bags as well so that's it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you're brand new to my channel i hope that you'll decide to subscribe and support my channel for the rest of you thank you all so much again i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you again very soon bye